Barakatha Yahawa, Barakatha Yahawa Shai, Barakatha Yahawa, Barakatha Yahawa Shai, Barakatha Yahawa, Barakatha Yahawa Shai, Bahasham Racha Kodash, Ko Holoyim La Yahawa, Bahasham Yahawa Shai, Bahasham Racha Kodash, Shalom to the Lord's the to the Lord's elect, the 144,000 elect men, 12,000 from each tribe, which consists of your so-called blacks, so-called Hispanics, so-called Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners, Hebrew Israelites who are scattered among all nations, looking like the other nations and speaking their tongues, Shalom to all of you. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. Much due respect to you, sincere Akim, that's laboring and works. And Shalom to you, believers, to the Akim, Wa Akwa, which will be you, brothers, and few amount of sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth. Listening and learning in silence as the scriptures say so. I'm your brother Manazar Gabar. Out here in Pasadena, Texas. Lord willing, this lesson on a update on the MOTB, the mark of the beast, be edifying and playing upon the tables. From endtimeheadlines.org. Uh, this article growing number of shops businesses right are going cashless including major supermarket locations growing number of shops businesses are going cashless including major supermarket locations Many retailers are banishing cash from stores, including major supermarkets. Find out if yours is impacted. In a huge shakeup for shoppers, retailers such as Pesco, Salakia, Tesco, and Ashda, Ashda, are cutting cash payments in some of their outlets to cut queues. So whether you are filling up the car or ordering ordering a sandwich for lunch, you may get to the checkout. You may get to the checkout to discover you can't pay with cash. You can't pay with cash. All roles leads to the mark of the beast. That's what we are witnessing. If you got the spiritual eyes to discern. All right. The, the MOTB, that system is gradually being prepared, set up. Gradualism before, you know, everyone, whether you can see it or not. All right. We're getting closer to that prophecy, the mark of the beast being fulfilled. Um, let's see. Uh, retailers have said. Retailers have said the move will reduce queues, and it's not been without contro controversy. Many have said it will make life harder for some customers. One customer commented on X, a.k.a. Twitter, even if you don't mind cashless. So right. So even so, even if you don't mind cashless, stop being so smug and inconsiderate and think about the elderly, disabled, and those on lower incomes 
who budget better with cash. The move towards cashless shopping accelerated increase following the CVD one-niner pandemic. When many retailers, pubs, cafes, and restaurants were forced were forced required to go card only. Okay. So let's see. However, a YouGov survey commissioned by the Payment Choice Alliance in early June 2023 revealed that only 3% of the adult UK United Kingdom population have stopped using cash entirely. All right, all roles leads to the mark of the beast. All right, so get a few scriptures. Let's get the book of Ezekiel very right quick, chapter 7, verse 19. In the KJV, they uh, they shall cast their silver in the streets, right? People are going to be tossing out their their cash like worthless trash, and their gold shall be removed. Their their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath the anger of the lord who the world ignorantly called god yahweh the most high the proper name of the one true god there's no amount of money there's no amount of gold and silver there's no amount of a high credit score of a, a 401 saving account right that can deliver you from the Lord's anger. All right. Um, you cannot bribe the God in the Bible, the Messiah in the Bible, Yahweh Bashmi Shai, with you no know, riches of this world. Okay. Um, let's see. They shall not satisfy their souls. Neither. Check this out. Check this out. Neither fill their bowels, right? Feed themselves because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. So let's get this in the New Living Translation. Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 19. In the New Living Translation, they will throw their money in the streets tossing it out like worthless trash for an example the economy crash the dollar is completely useless has no value some businesses even like major supermarkets right oh so like, yeah, are just not accepting cash okay they're just not accepting cash growing number of shops are going cashless, including major supermarket locations. All right. They will throw their money in the streets, tossing it out like worthless trash. Their silver and gold won't save them on that day of the Lord's Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai's anger. It would neither satisfy nor feed them for their greed can only trip them up, right? Can't feed them, right? Let's go over here very quick. May uh, Many retail retailers are banishing cash from stores, including major supermarkets, right? When you go down to... It says down here, cash payments in some of their outlets 
to cut cules. Okay, when you go down here, the slack here, uh, mm, 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 it was one that caught my attention. Hold on, about people waiting in line and then they find out that. Let's see, it's a lot, slack here. Hold on, um, okay, let's see, I think it's this one right here. So whether you're filling up the car or order, ordering a sandwich for lunch, you may get, right, you may get to the checkout, right? So you ordered, right, your, your McDonald's, your Taco Bueno's, your, 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 your human, uh, your McHuman sandwich, a.k.a. Big Mac, McChicken, and etc. cetera, McNuggets, McBabies, right? No, you order some fast food, right? For example, and now you could now you now you drive up to the checkout, right? Just to discover you can't pay with cash, and that's and and that and that's how you pay because you got people here that still use cash, pretty much for, to to pay for almost everything, okay? Especially when it comes to grocery shopping, when it comes to eating, purchasing food. Right to eat, right? They prefer to pay in cash. All right. A lot of people don't use debit cards. Okay. Debit cards, credit cards, right? So these are gonna be the kind of people that's gonna be affected by it. The elderly, let's say people that's here in America that's probably getting paid underneath the table, right? They don't have a, a card to receive payments, so they so they prefer to get paid in cash, right? All right. Are going to be affected by this especially when they find out that you know you can't eat you cannot have access to purchasing food are going to be affected by this big time man because the times are going to come where the dollar is going to have zero value literally all over america um let's see um uh let's see Let's get have matter of fact let's get uh Revelation chapter three verse ten right quick. This is the book of Revelation chapter three verse ten, the KJV red lettering, the Messiah is speaking here, Yah Hawashai, who the world ignorantly still calling Iesu Christo. Yah Hawashai is speaking here because thou because you has kept the word of my patience of long suffering you kept the command to endure okay especially you know as a prophet right if you're if you find yourself prophesying teaching right and this truth and you stood stiffly on the on the proper breakdowns of the, of the visions the prophecies especially the MOTB you never change up the doctrine right you still boldly on it right um, you, 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 you endured daily, all right, in the house of Mona, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, the hour of temptation when Esau, let's say the wicked elites, the Illuminati's, right, the Rothschilds. When Esau starts instituting the chip by force, by force, by making it a requirement in order to still eat, in order to have access to the basic things that mankind needs. A roof over your head, food to eat, clothes on your back, a place, a home to cover your shame. Um... And etc. Have access to society. Okay. The things that you're still able to do this very day. In order to continue doing that. Right. You're going to have to receive that seed. And it's going to be a requirement. It's pretty much going to be like a key. The key. To have access to the new world order. I also will keep thee from the hour temptation. When the MOTB is now mandatory. In order to buy or sell. Which shall come upon all the world all the world strong g 3625 oiklo mini 
Uh, you get, let's see, globe over here somewhere. Bear with me. Something with world, the globe. Here we go, globe. Right upon the whole world, upon the whole globe, this whole planet. All right. So this our temptation is going to be worldwide. Okay, not just in America. To try them that dwell upon the earth. All right. Let's say the final exam to decide if you're going to pass the next grade or not. All right. Everyone on planet earth is going to be tested, especially Hebrew Israelites. All right. Especially Hebrew Israelites that's proclaiming their true identity that's supposed to be in this truth all right are definitely going to be tried and lord willing i don't want to uh, the lord bless us to be able to continue daily keeping the word of his patience so the lord can keep us from the hour of temptation okay so don't worry when the MOTB is now mandatory in order to even eat. The Lord did said in Isaiah chapter 65, verse 13, Behold, my servants shall eat, and ye shall be hungry. My servants shall drink, and ye shall be thirsty. Just, par just paraphrasing. Okay. Um, so that our temptation, right, when Esau starts instituting the chip by force by making it mandatory, right? He calls of all. The book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 16, and he calls of all. This is our temptation, for an example. And he calls of all, right? When you read this in the NOT, let me get that right quick. Blue letter Bible. It actually says he required NLT. All right. Let's see. Let's do this. The NLT. Mm, no. There was one that says, and he required everyone. Oh, that's 17, so lock it. 16, verse 16, okay. Okay, yeah, this is verse 16, the NOT. And he required everyone, small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to be given a mark on the right hand or on the forehead, right? So the point I want to get was he required everyone the hour temptation, for an example, he required everyone. All right. The NIV says it also forced all people. So this damn devil is going to force everyone by means of making the MOTB required in order to buy or sell, to be, to be able to even eat, to have access to purchasing food. All right. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. So everyone, newborns, little children, elderly, the old, uh, the, the upper class, uh, the, the different economic classes, the rich. So what do they call it? So they call it middle class, the poor, working class, right? Uh, everyone, even inmates, inmates, prisoners are going to have to also be see hit up. Uh, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. To break down a mark, the RFID microchip. Right, let's go over here. All right. The RFID chip. Okay. The radio frequency identification 
implantable, right? Implantable RFID chip. Okay. The word for mark is charagma in Greek, which means an incision. You are forbidden to take the chip anywhere on your body. Anywhere. All right, so lucky for that. All right. So when you go into this word mark, Strong's G5480. Charagma is a scratch or etching, i.e., in other words, a stamp, a stamp as a badge of servitude, right? So when you go into that word etching, right, the similar term you get for etch, right? Let's go into etch right quick. Let's see. Let's do this. Definition. Let's see. Down here. The action or process of etching something. Engrave. Carve. Inscribe. Cut. In, cut in, right? So before we go into that word, in fact, let's go to cut right quick. Cut definition in, in means of cutting in, right? So penetrating into something, right? Cut definition. Cut. cut. Make an opening incision uh oh, uh oh, what does it say right here? And the breakdown, a mark, the RFID microchip. The word for mark is karagma, which means an incision. You are forbidden to take the C hip anywhere on your body. Incision. Incision. A surgical cut made in skin. Or, or flesh. Let's show you an image of it so you can better see it. You know how they say, I can show you better, I can tell you? <laughs> All right. This right here is an example, a visual or an image, reputation of the word incision. A surgical cut made upon the skin of flesh, right? So let's go back over here. Cut, make an opening, incision, or wound in something with what? With a sharp edge tool or object. Sharp edge tool or object. A sharp object, a sharp tool. Getting ready to penetrate upon the skin and flesh getting ready to conduct something known as a incision, a surgical cut, right? To cut in a surgical cut, okay? Upon the skin and flesh, which leaves a wound, okay? You have to get stitched up, believe it or not. When you look at videos of the of this procedure, people have to get stitched up and they, you know, clean it up. They put a bandage on it, put some, uh, like, a, you know, they clean it up, okay? Uh, make an opening incision or wound in something with a sharp edge to object. Okay. Um, so let's go back to this word mark, right? Mark. You also get what? As a badge of servitude. The badge of servitude, the badge of slavery, the badge of enslavement the badge of bondage the badge of subjugation the badge of subjection okay so the badge of being a slave 
the badge of being in the state of being a slave or completely subject to someone more powerful. The wicked elites, for example, you will be a slave onto them, a possession onto them. You'll be completely subject onto them. Okay? In their new world order, NWO. And when you get this badge of servitude, especially as a Hebrew Israelite, a so-called black, a so-called Hispanic, so-called Native American Indian, you have received the mark, say, of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand, mind you, anywhere in your body, right? Let's see, as the badge of the followers of the anti-anointed. So you will be anti Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. You will be an enemy. You will be against our Savior. Okay. All right. And he caused of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell. No man may buy or sell. Buy. Strong's G59. Agarazo. Right? To be in the marketplace. To attend it. To do business there. To do business there. Buy or sell. Of idle people to haunt the marketplace. Lounge there. Lounge. Uh, definition the noun number one a public room as in a hotel theater or club in which to sit or relax so to have access to public rooms such as a hotel to enter a theater you want to watch a movie you got to receive your badge of servitude the haragma your badge of being followers of the anti-anointed, anti Shai. You want to go to a club and still experience a vain, played out, hot girl summer. You just want to go to a club, right? You want to enter Starbucks and get your pumpkin spice latte. You want to get a drink from a, from a bar, right? You want to have access to society still, right? You're going to, in order to buy or sell, I got also. You want to have a business. You want to be able to enter buildings, a place of dwelling, right? Do business to sell. You want to be able to buy food. Remember, we, we read in Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 19, KJV and NLT, right? Uh, nor feed themselves, right? They shall toss their money like worthless trash. All right. Verse 17 is that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, the haragma, the RFID chip, or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So, yeah. This is where... Uh, Coming into the reality real soon of the vision that John the Revelator had seen in the island of Patmos. Okay, this is that generation, that lifetime. All right, and this is a major prophecy that we are patiently waiting for. All right, so I will lower you how a shy can come back, deliver his elect. Low willing we are the elect and witness the greatest destruction, the greatest downfall of a rulership, the greatest destruction of an of a kingdom, the destruction of Babylon and Great, aka America. Alright. Um let's get Habakkuk chapter two, verse three, and we end it with this low willing. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3 KJV For the vision The prophecy Is yet for an appointed time 
but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry right slow and coming wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry so each prophecy has its appointed time to speak to be manifested into reality and even though it may seem slow in coming for an example the requirement of having the MOTB in order to buy or sell right it may seem slow in coming but just wait for it because at the end it shall speak and not lie um let's see we're going to end it with the the, with the living bible version of that bible gateway the living bible it's right above the message here we go have a cool chapter 2 verse 3 living bible but these things i plan right the visions is yet for an appointed time but these things i plan won't happen right away slowly steadily surely the time approaches when the vision the prophecies will be fulfilled the MOTB will be fulfilled if it seems slow do not despair right do not despair don't lose hope do not right it says uh do not despair the complete loss or absence of hope so don't give up you know the fate because it seems slow in coming despair hopelessness desperation distress anguish pain unhappiness uh let's see depression right you get the point here right um that's the noun when you go down to the verb lose hope give up hope abandon hope give up lose heart be discouraged be this pond this this pond it right you see the point here right so it says if it seems slow do not lose the complete absence of hope don't give up okay be patient keep waiting for these things will surely come to pass just be patient remember revelation chapter 3 verse 10 because thou has kept the word of my patience long suffering right I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. Just paraphrasing. Just be patient. They, right, the visions, the prophecies, they will not be overdue a single day. All right. So you just got to keep on waiting. All right. Keep putting up these, these videos, these lessons, these warnings. Keep praying. Keep, keep watching. Keep praying. Lord willing, we be counted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. To stand before Lord Yahweh Shai HaMashiach in his second coming. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying, very plain upon the tables to understand that the MOTB is that that uh, that micro C hip. Okay. Um, there is repercussions for it. Go read the book of Revelation chapter 14 verses 9 through 11. The book of Revelation chapter 16 verse 2 okay um, and just keep on waiting okay low willing this upcoming day of atonement hopefully it be the last day of atonement here in captivity may the Lord's elect be sealed that needs to be sealed and we get to move into the next phase of prophecy Low willing, low willing, low willing. I don't want rots us out. So low willing, you was edified. All right. I'm going to close out by giving the much do all phrases. Honor and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Bahashem, Racha Kwadas. Shalom to the Lord's elect. The 144,000 elect men. 12,000 from each tribe. And the rest of the multitude that makes up the one third, the remnant. The other Israelite men, Israelite women, Israelite children. 
double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of great millstone. And much due respect to you, sincere Akim, that's laboring in the works. I'll be Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha Kwadash, Baba Kwisha, Baba Kwisha, Baba Kwisha, Shalak Rayum, Wa Ainashem, Wa Abadium, Wa Haragium, Wa Mashapatium, La Ko Adawamium, Wa Gawayum, Wa Ayab Yum Nawa, Wa La Pasadena, Texas, Wa La Babo, Abad Babo, Abad Babo, Abad Babo. Baba Kwisha, Baba Kwisha, Baba Kwisha, Yahawa Bahashem, Yahawa Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash, Dawada, Damya Tawa, Amun. Kwam Yashal.